Hey guys, this is Mrs. Thomas. I am fourth grade summer school um, for you guys. So I'm gonna be explaining what your expectations are in the different papers that you're going to be doing this summer. Well, really not the whole summer, it's just like two weeks. So yeah, it's gonna help you be prepared for fifth grade and ready to be super successful. All right, so let me pause the video and I'm gonna show you um, the papers that you're gonna complete. Okay guys, so this is the lesson plan. You have received it with your packet. Um, so you have three essential standards that you'll be doing and you have two lessons and then the assessment. So even if you have done some of these items before, don't worry about it. This is just where you are going to practice doing it one more time so you can be super prepared for fifth grade. All right. All right, this first passage is entitled Best Friends. There are two questions that you'll be taking care of this. This one is figurative language and it is a simile. So think in your mind what a simile means. Think, think, think. It is comparing two things using like or as. So that is our first one, is you are locating some similes in the passage after you read that. All right, our next one is entitled Fortune, and um, there is a story that you are going to take care of, and this would be the second day of your packet, and then behind Fortune would be some questions that you are going to answer. Um, and you see they tell you to go back in certain paragraphs. So that's super important because that's where you're going to find the answers. Don't just read it one time. Think about all the strategies that your teachers have taught you. I know it's been a while since you've been in school, but use those strategies and they will certainly help you. Um, it Just use those strategies. Um, there's one right here where it says um, an underlined word if you have dictionary access or you could even look up the word online or you could Google it or something and that's going to help you with um, the underlined words. All right, and then the third activity for the week is from Education Galaxy. It's a, a super sheets where you are going to read the story and then there's more figurative language like a simile and imagery. So remember imagery is something that you can um, figure in your mind. And then we have some other questions as well. Um, some more figurative language, sense of sight, alliteration. Okay, this is something, let me help you remember. Alliteration, if you said Sarah sells seashells, so it's kind of like a tongue twister, but you hear the S sound repeated three times. So um, that's alliteration where you hear the same beginning consonant sound and um, that's repeated. All right, here we have another simile, and that is, remember, comparing two things using like or as. All right, next we have a poem that you're going to read. Um, if you think about how we did poetry or how you may have done poetry um, previously in your class, so you need to think about if there is um, a rhyme scheme with um, your words at the end. Also, um, this word, a sonnet, and maybe you had gotten to it in class and maybe you hadn't, but this is where um, vowels are repeated and they sound um, the same vowel sound, just like with alliteration, we have a sonnet as well. So a sonnet is using vowel sounds, alliteration is using um, your consonant sounds. Okay, and then we will continue with this part. And so we have metaphor, we had simile, and now we have metaphor. So remember, simile is comparing two things using like or as, and metaphor is not using like or as. Okay, um, a next thing you might not remember would be personification. Personification is when you are giving human qualities to non-human objects. Like you could say like the trees waved at me because trees aren't really gonna wave. It would be like the wind that causes them to wave. And then finally with number 10, it says um, creating imagery. And so imagery would be things that you could maybe see in your mind. 
Okay, so our next essential standard is looking at details and determining key ideas. So this passage is about public transit, and you can see this is not how we get around anymore. This obviously was a long time ago. So key details and determining um, the key details and finding uh, the, the main idea. So one quick question here. Um, why the most likely reason the paragraph one was included in the article. So that's um, something to locate there. And then there are some other questions on the back, um, two through five as well. So this definitely is a passage that you're gonna need to go back in the passage and uh, definitely questions that you're gonna need to go back in the passage to find the answers for. All right, our next one is a quick passage with, okay, our next passage is entitled A True Emergency. And this is also where you're still looking for um, details and main idea. Uh, five quick questions that should be super easy to handle as long as you go back in the passage and find your answers there. All right, and then we move to the super sheets like the assessment, the third day. Um, and this one is entitled Homes of the First Settlers. So you can clearly see this is a nonfiction piece. Um, it's gonna give you lots of facts and lots of details. Let me flip the page. All right, so some questions. So the author includes paragraph two. That's important. Go back to paragraph two. Don't just guess at it, go back to it. And then still asking you more questions, still asking you to go back into the paragraph. That's where, again, you're going to find all of your answers. Super, super important to go back in the passage. All right, this question number six is what is the best summary of the selection? Um, your teachers may have taught you different strategies, but with this one, I like to go through, read each one carefully and put like a little check if this happened at the beginning of the story, put a check if things happened at the middle and then like put a check if things happened at the end. If something didn't happen in the middle or the beginning, or the end, then you put an X and that's gonna tell you that's not gonna be a good answer for F through um, J. All right, main idea of the paragraph. Well, what is the main idea of paragraph five? Make sure you go back and reread paragraph five and not just try to guess. That's super important that you don't guess and that you try your best. Okay, and then finally, the final essential standard that you're going to be working on is making inferences and using evidence to support understanding. So with this one, this is another nonfiction piece. Ulysses S. Grant was a president that we had a super long time ago. In fact, he was the 18th president of the United States. So there are two questions here. So you're using some inference skills and um, you're using um, evidence from the passage. The next passage you're gonna take care of is entitled Seven Wonders of the World. And it's a really cool passage because it explains different places all over the world. I'm gonna tell you there are some tricky words in here. Don't let the tricky words um, mess you up because you can just look at the words and just say like the beginning of the letter and just call it that. And don't get too stuck on them or um, confused because then it'll just make you frustrated. All right, and then there are eight questions that go along with seven wonders of the world. All right, to wrap it up, you have the final super sheets. Um, there is a story and um, this is a fiction story and you'll need to find out about what makes the problem in this story and how it is solved. In fact, that's the first question that you're gonna be taking care of. There are three questions here on the front and we wrap it up with um, all the way to question eight. So also you can see that they threw in some figurative language as well. So, all right, friends. Hey guys, 
So those are the papers that you're going to take care of. I have included my email address. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me if you're not sure, if you're stuck on something um, that I can certainly help you out um, because it's summer school and we definitely want to be successful so we can move on to fifth grade. All right. Um, take care of yourself and um, get those papers complete and we will collect them and then give your information back to your homeschool. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great summer.